Hello guys, what's happening? It's the Dollar Graphics. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are over here and if you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as soon as I when I drop a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to design a simple church flyer like this. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, this is my color draw. I'm using a updated version. So and I have my project like this so what next i'm going to do now is to create a new page i'm gonna do that by going over to this place where i have my plus and over here like this i just go ahead and click it like this and i have my page like this so i'm gonna change the page orientation i'm just going to customize this come over to this place where you have your page dimension and type in 5x5 five five and hit enter on your keyboard and have it like this so this corridor doesn't allow me to use the feature of double clicking on my rectangle tool and my tools bar to fit it into the swipe box that I have over here. So I'm gonna simply draw a rectangle like this, then head over to my property bar where I have my page dimension. I'll just go ahead and type in 5x5 five five, like this. Then I'll press P on my keyboard to fit it into this white box that I have over here like this. Head over to your property bar, locate where your outline pen is. Then click on this drop down arrow, click none to get rid of the outline like this. So, what next I'm going to do is to bring in the resources I'm going to be using for this tutorial. I have them over here in my page 3. So, I just highlight them, then drag it into my project like this, and place it over here like this. So, what next I'm going to do is to power clip this my white white stroke that. that have over here like this inside my project to do that i right click on it like this then come over to this place where it says power clip or better still click on it then right click and drag like this you see your cursor changes from the normal one to something that looks like sniping shape like this then i'll leave it then it will give me this option to power clip it inside like this and i have it right inside my project hold on out on your keyboard to make a selection of it like this that is inside your power clip then scale it up like this let's take your time and do it properly then click it click it once again at the middle like this to give it this rotation icon like this then i'll just rotate it this way like this and i have it this way click it once again at the middle to give it the normal normal it like this just take your time and do it properly and i have it this way so what next i'm going to do is to take this my background power clip inside my project like this so i'll right click on it then select power clip and i have it right inside my project go down out on your keyboard to make a selection of it like this then bring it to this side click on it once again to give it this rotation icon then rotate it this way then scale it up like this let's take your time and do it properly then head over to your property bar where you have your mirror i just mirror it this way like this and have it this way so i'll press ctrl page down my keyboard to send it to the back of my page like this and i have it this way so hold down alt on your keyboard to make a selection of this one you are seeing inside your project like this and I have it selected like this so head over to your property your tools bar over here like this select your transparency tool over here then change the blending mode to difference then reduce the opacity 95 yeah and I have it like this so what next I'm going to do now is to power clip this my tone paper inside my project to do that, I'll right click on it, then select power clip like this, and I have it right inside my project. So double click on it to go inside your to this side, then scale it up like this, then finish it in the side where it says finish, and I have it that way. So what next I'm going to do is to type in the worship experience. this worship experience so 
control key on your keyboard to break it apart and I'll change the font for the worship to typo longest and have it this way typo longest demo in case when I download it so I'll just scale it up like this Then I'll also change the font for the experience to love lovely. Have it over here like this. Then I'll change the tight case to tight two case. Like this. Then I'll scale it up like this. Position it this way. Take it up a bit. What else I'm going to do now is to sample a color from this side of the background and fill it to this wash that I have over here. I'm going to do that by going over to my toolbar, take my eye color eyedropper to then sample a color from this side like this, then fill it to this wash like this and have it like that. Now I'll apply a gradient to it, press G on your keyboard or press tab still, come over to this place where you have this your interactive fit to make a selection of it then drag it this way so I'm gonna change it to elliptical fountain view I'll head over to my property bar in this side where I have my elliptical fountain view I just apply it like this and I have it this way so this side of the white that I have over here I want it to be this right out of this color like this over this side like this so I make a selection of this brush like this I pick up my color eyedropper tool then sample a color from this side again like this then drag it like this and, and have it this way so I'll just take my time and scale it up like this what else I'm going to do now is to change the color for the experience to this color like this and I have it that way make a selection of the experience hold down shift on your keyboard hold down shift on your keyboard then select the worship control G on your keyboard to group them then hold down shift again by selecting the worship experience, make a selection of your project like this and hit C on your keyboard to centralize it like that. So I take my time to position it like this, taking it down. So what next I'm going to do is to bring in the look I'm gonna be using for this flyer, for this church flyer. So I'm gonna do that by going back to this place where my project. I just copy this. This logo from this side. Control C on my keyboard to copy it like this. Then come over to your project, Control V to paste it like that. Do the same thing to the other address. Copy it like this. Control C on your keyboard. Then come over to your project and Control V to paste it. The font that I use for your address is called Montserrat. This one and download it. Same to applies to this one. And the short name is also Montserrat. If you want to download it. So what next I'm going to do is to bring in my worship background. So I have it over here like this. I'll just put it like this and paste it like this. So I'll right click on it, then select power clip like this to power clip inside the project and have it power clip inside. So I'll come over to this place where it says edit or better still. The click on your project to go right inside your power clip like this. Position the image over here like this, then bitmap it like this. Then go to your effect where you have screw that where you have creative, then vacate it like this. And have it like this. The shape I'm using for it is ellipse. In case when I use the same thing that I use, I just go ahead and click OK. So I'll just go to this place where it says finish and click like this. Now make a selection of to make a selection of this background, hold down Alt on your keyboard, then click on it again to make a selection of the worship background. So I'll head over to my property bar, then mirror it this way like this, then position it over like this. Like this. Then what next I'm going to do is to blend it with that of my background. Like that's like that's blue shade on it. So I will that by going back to my transparency to change the blending mode to 
move my leg and have it like this. Okay. Okay. So what else I'm going to do now is to give this my experience a white outline. I'll come over to this place where my white. Right click on it, then set outline color, and I have this way. So what next I'm going to do is to make this side of the E be as if the W is overlapping it. To do that, I will come over to my rectangle tool like this, then draw a rectangle like this. Then hold down shift on your keyboard to make selection of the experience like this. Then head over to your property bar, then trim it this way. And have it cut out like that. So, take a look at it properly. It's as if the W is overlapping the E like that. That one side of the W is overlapping the E. So what else I'm going to do now is to call this side of the worship. I'm gonna do that by making a selection of the worship. Come over to my effect, 3D effect, then page coil and have it coil like this. I just go ahead and take it like this and have it this way. So what then I'm going to do is to pack is to paste this my lens layer over it like this. Page up on your keyboard to bring it at the top like this. Spin it up like this. Then cut this side of the watermark. Maybe like that. So, so what else I'm going to do now is to make a selection of the lens flare. Head over to my tool bar, make a selection of this transparency tool. Then change the blending mode to scan like this. And have it this way. So as you can see, the lens flare is not blending with that of my blue color. To make it blend with my blue color, I'll head over to my effect in my menu bar, scroll down to this place where you have adjust, then come to this place where it says hue slash saturations like lightness like this. And I have it like this is because I've already worked on the previous one, that's why I am able to get this exact feel this color like this. So I just go ahead and tick OK. So that is how I was able to design this church flyer and I hope you like this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to notify when I drop a new video. See you next time.